Hi, I am Mohandas Pai. I am very happy to be talking to you at the Sun Sankalp Summit in Varanasi. My apologies, I am not able to be there in person. Innovation is the key to developing a country or a society. If you look at the greatest countries in the world today, like the United States, you will find that they developed only because of innovation, new products and the use of technology in the last 100 years. Even when Great Britain built its empire during the Industrial Revolution, it overtook Asia, which were Asia, which was the largest economic power in the world till then, because of the Industrial Revolution and the creation and invention of the steam engine and motive power. So I think it's very important to focus on innovation. And I do believe that innovation is transformative. And we need to foster innovation to ensure growth and to create more jobs for our people in all parts of the world. If you read the World Development Report 2024, it talks about very many countries getting into the middle income trap where they get a per capita income of seven to $10,000 and they're not able to move beyond that. And it says to move beyond that, you need to have innovation. You need to grow your economy using new products. You need to tackle the global markets. It can only be done by the disruptive power of innovation and technology. It cites the example of Japan and Korea as countries which started very small after the Second World War and which have grown up to giant economies today, driven by innovation and technology. And he says that India is one country which has the capability to go beyond the middle income tax, which many countries will get stuck in and go to the next orbit as a country with a very high per capita income. And innovation and technology disruption can come through startups. It's very difficult for large enterprises to set up a department and do it because large enterprises have risk management processes and it inhibits innovation on a substantial scale. Not to say that they're not innovative, they have innovative, but startups move very rapidly. Founders change business model, think of new ideas, work 24 into 7 and create new products and they dream big and they're able to go to areas which are very high risk and succeed. And indeed, if you look at some of the greatest companies in the world today, many of them started as small startups and are great uh, innovators. So I would urge all the startups at Sankalp to look at what they're doing, innovate fast, come out with products and services with the market needs and to scale up, uh, scale up and to have a meaningful impact. And to scale up, you need to know that you need customers, which I'm sure you'll get. You need to have technology, you need to have funding. And for funding, you need to know and train yourself how to pitch to investors and make sure they buy into your ideas and you're able to uh, we are able to scale up your enterprise. And startups have a great role in building a sustainable and inclusive India because startups can be done by any bright young person who has the attributes, who's innovative, who understands what to do and the passion and energy to do it. It doesn't depend on where you're born or what you do. It depends on how innovative you are, how hard you're going to work and how we are able to market and sell and conceptualize the product. And I think it can address the challenges of disparity and it can address the challenge of uh, distance because the technology today, distance is no longer a obstacle for you to be innovative and to cater to uh, global markets. And I would like to congratulate Sankalp as a convening platform because I think you're bringing together innovators in one of the oldest living cities of the world, which is a testimony to the indomitable hin Indian, uh, human spirit of uh, sustainability, of a growth and of a living with the times and which has changed over the last thousands of years. And I think being at Varanasi and bringing people together is a great effort. Sankalp and uh, Avishkar has done a great job in bringing them together. And I'm sure when you talk to each other, we discuss your projects, each other, you showcase your projects to everybody, you'll do well. And I think it's very important for, uh, you know, forums like, uh, summits like Sankalp to come to tier two cities like Varanasi in tier one cities like Bangalore have an ecosystem where there are a lot of startups, there is money available, there are many, many people talking, discussing, uh, where lawyers are available, accountants are available, uh, fund managers are available, and it's much easier to set it up and to grow rather than tier two uh, uh, cities. But tier two cities have an enormous amount of innovation and they have a knowledge of real, uh, real, real, real problems which require solutions in society. 
and I think in India, theatre cities do play a great role. So I'm happy that uh, Sankalp is happening in a theatre city like Varanasi, uh, where we're all coming together and uh, discussing many things. So I would like to say that innovation is a growth driver for societies, innovation is a growth driver for creation of wealth in countries, innovation is the way we've got to create a societies, and we can, through innovation, we can change societies in the shortest possible time, we can give greater access to products and services to millions of people and lower the cost of acquisition, and we can also make sure it's inclusive and, and, and you know, uh, any young bright person in any part of India, any part of the world, can do that. It requires creation of a network, creation of mentors, creation of places where people can come together and talk and suck up. Suddenly is convening all this. Congratulations and wish you all the best in the deliberations.